The black fungal infection is said to be another tsunami for the COVID-19 pandemic. So this second wave of COVID pandemic seems to be more alarming, more vulnerable compared to the previous year. So the news of this deadly disease has been reported from India's capital, New Delhi. So the question is, is the disease contagious? Is the disease dangerous for all of us? What is this fungal disease? Or what is this so-called the deadly black fungal infection? So hello and welcome back to my channel. This is me John Pevitato and you are watching JPT videos for you. So today in this video, we will talk about this deadly black fungal infection. So keep watching the video till the end. Well, as we all know that the fungal diseases are very common in our surrounding. Some are said to be harmful and some are not. Fungal infection can affect anyone and they can appear on several parts of the body. Fungi are microorganisms characterized by a substance in their cell walls called chitin. Fungal infection is also known as mycosis. Fungi reproduce by releasing spores that can be picked up by direct contact or even inhaled. And that's why the fungal infection are most likely to affect your skin, nails, or your lungs. And now in this second wave of COVID pandemic, we have come across a fungal disease called mucormycosis. Several COVID patients have been reported to be inflicted by this mucormycosis. It is said that this infection starts from nose and it ends at eyes. Uh, on the news, we have also heard that when this infection spreads, it leads to the paralysis of the muscle around the eye, leading the muscles to swell and then at last it will lead to the blindness. Well, I would say this is really dangerous and if the infection spreads to the brain, the patient can get meningitis, which is a brain-related disease. Well, it is said that those COVID patients who have been termed as recovered, they are instead being infected by this fungal disease. Well, according to some reliable sources in Delhi, it is being said that the COVID patient those who have a serious or continuous health problem or those who take medicine like steroids they are more susceptible on getting infected by this fungal infection so this seems to be one of the turning point in the fight against the covid 19 pandemic so now no one can say that if a covid patient have recovered he or she won't suffer further but again to tell you that this deadly fungal infection is not contagious like how the coronavirus is So the symptoms of the mucormycosis are one-sided facial swelling, headache, nasal or sinus congestion, fever, cough, chest pain, and as you all know, shortness of breathing. And shortness of breathing se ki right now in the northeastern state and in my state Arunachal Pradesh, Bombay or Delhi mein jis tarika se halat hai abhi, itna halat yaha pe battar nahi hai. But our government should not overlook such things. We must be prepared. Our state government must be prepared our hospitals must be ready because according to reliable sources there is a 40 to 50 percent chance that the person who has been caught by this disease would definitely die but again 50 percent to jinda bhi rahega na anyway i don't know whether the hospitals in our state are ready are well equipped i don't know if the doctors are ready we hope that they are ready but i am sure that our people are ready to fight against this pandemic because we are now well experienced from the last year so this was all for today if you have liked this video and if you have anything to say please do let me know in this comment section below keep supporting keep loving stay safe inside your home keep wearing your mask so i'll see you guys on my next video with more informative vlogs and videos take care stay safe bye bye